I am Maria, the host of the Strong Body, Strong Soul Show. Thank you so much for being here. I'm here to remind you guys that you are so much more than just your bodies. Strong Body, Strong Soul, you have both of them. Today, I'm talking about different types of meditation. I hope you enjoy this particular video. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe. But mainly, please make sure to comment if you like what I'm talking about. I am so excited because I wanted to let you guys know about the meditation classes that I am proposing. We're starting to open a meditation room in our area. And I wanted to come on here right now and read for you, describe the meditations for you. I would love to hear your thoughts. Which one of these meditations would interest you the most? I've already been getting some great feedback on some of them and I'm excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be offering the meditations at different times during the day. It's gonna be kind of like a gym, but it's for exercising the energy of your soul, right? And depending on who the audience is will determine what my vocabulary is. But the main idea of any meditation, by the way, is to evoke that spirit of connection between all of us. I don't know all of the answers, but I can definitely show you some of the ways that you can use to unlock your own power. So let me tell you about the meditations. I'm going to read from my proposal right here for you guys. Are you ready? Okay. The first meditation, this is the type of meditation that really caught my attention about 10 years ago and really pulled me out of a deep depression and helped me personally get off a of prescription medication. It's very interesting. Don't be scared by the description here, okay? Chakra Dhyana Meditation. That's what it's called, chakra energy. That's my favorite. Students will be introduced to an ancient chanting meditation known as chakra dhyana. They will be guided through the first seven chakras and learn how to use the vibration of their own voice to activate and balance their own energy. The room, it says it right here, I wrote this, <laughs> will get loud that's right. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I can be loud. It is an amazing experience. Chakra Dhyana is designed to empower and connect you with your highest self. Access your untapped energy by using the powerful vibration of your own voice in unity with those around you. Now, I am offering all of these classes in a group setting, but I have had clients come to me individually for sessions where they really tend to en enjoy and benefit from the sound of my voice as it courses through them to help them. So I will be offering individual sessions as well. Number two meditation, I'm calling it, mindfulness meditation, body scan. And let me tell you something, I've studied with John Kabat-Zinn's program of mindfulness. He invented mindfulness in its current form or a version of it right now, I would say. But one of the greatest things that he does is teach people how to do a body scan. That's what this meditation is going to be about. Listen to this. Focusing on the simplest things in life can be immensely rewarding. During this class, participants will be guided through a body scan technique designed to help them connect more fully with their physical body. By feeling the physical, we can appreciate the ethereal on a deeper level, or ethereal, however you want to say it. Every cell in your body contains energy. Come relax and harness it in a unique setting. Now for that meditation, the participants will be lying down and I will be guiding them through this meditation. No movement is involved, no sound, just listening to me guide them through specific body energies. 
And by the way, all of these classes I am suggesting are 45 minutes long. And as always in my workshops, I ask for the participants to trust me as I guide them through, but more importantly, to trust themselves. If anyone feels uncomfortable during any of the meditations, of course, they're welcome to get up and leave if they're having some sort of an issue or if they fall asleep, <laughs> they need to trust me to wake them up so they can get back to work because some of these classes are going to be during the noon hour. And by the way, I'm excited to specifically offer these meditations to the therapists in this particular location that I'm going to be doing these in because sometimes the therapists forget about their own self-care. Meditation is a beautiful place to process some of that energy that therapists themselves may be absorbing from their clients. Meditation is the kind of unique setting where even if you are in a group, it's not a group discussion. So there's no danger of breaching confidentiality or anything like that. The therapists themselves can meditate and go deep into whatever they need to in order to cleanse their own energy system from their own clients. In fact, during these meditations, we'll be figuring it out and tweaking it more, of course, but the therapist may in fact be sitting there in the same room with other therapists' clients. I'm not sure if we're gonna separate them or have them all together yet, we'll figure it out. But the body scan is a really powerful tool and yes, it is really relaxing. And yes, at the very beginning of the meditation, I do advise people to try to stay awake if they can but if they fall asleep, that's okay too. Sound therapy is the third kind of meditation that I would offer. During this class, participants will have the opportunity to feel the healing energy of sound bowls. I do have many, ver many varieties of sound bowls. The vibration from the bowls will course through them after a guided meditation designed to help them connect with their deepest, highest self. During all of these meditations, but in particular that one, the sound therapy, really gives people an opportunity to remove all of the layers, all of the preconceived ideas of what meditation is about. I really take people to that place before they even had a name. That is the point. Lose all those layers and gain strength from that. The next one, exploratory meditation, I'm calling it. The focus of this class will be to investigate what your unique connection with energy is. We will discuss how we relate to the elements, how we process spiritual awareness. We'll be talking about claircognizant, clairvoyant, clairaudient. You might have guessed I'm kind of clairaudient. Everyone has a little bit of everything, but we'll be discussing what these kind of terms mean. We'll be discussing generally different types of meditation and breathing techniques that may resonate in different ways with different people and at different times of your life or different times of the day perhaps. Oddly enough, I was just listening to an interview with Michael from Insight Timer, and he was saying that their studies show of all the users on Insight Timer, most people make use of a variety of types of meditation. They just don't get hooked on one type. So this class will help with that. We will be using gentle movement on occasion, because I'm a personal trainer too, remember, in this class in order to investigate the incredible way our physical body supports and enhances our spiritual journey. I'm so excited. Okay, get ready for this one. You're not even going to believe this one. <laughs> Sometimes when you hear somebody laughing, it makes you laugh too, right? Number five. Laughing meditation, that's right my friends, laughing meditation. In this class you are invited to release all of your stress in a safe, encouraging environment. Integration of humor 
into our meditation practice is a powerful tool. If you've been following me for a while, you may have guessed it's one of my favorite kinds of energies. Sometimes life can seem so serious. Who better to laugh at than ourselves? Caution. <laughs> I put this in the proposal. Caution. Everyone's idea of what is funny can vary. Sometimes no one even needs to know what you are laughing about. Just hearing others can lift your energy. Let your mind go and indulge yourself in laughter. <laughs> Lately, I've been talking on the podcast a little bit, saying, you know, if you're on a metro somewhere with your earbuds in and you're laughing at something I said in your head, ooh, that rhymes, chances are the people around you are going to laugh or at least smile when they see you laughing. That's what it's all about. I want to be contagious. That's right. Laughter can be contagious. I love it. <laughs> Number six type of meditation. I have two more. Oh, I just realized that I wrote down seven separate meditations. Chakra Dhyana meditation focuses on the seven core chakras in our system. Seven. Wow. I didn't even realize that till right now. Number six, listen to this one, is a writing meditation. What a gift to give yourself the time to meditate and then sit in silent contemplation and allow your soul to spill out onto paper. Bring a journal of any type and an open heart to receive guidance. Take the time to record your insights while they are fresh. Oftentimes, I'll have workshops and people will be so excited and so relaxed at the end. Oftentimes, I forget, by the way, <laughs> to collect comments and testimonials because everyone's so relaxed. And this meditation, the writing meditation, will allow the participants that beautiful time to bask in the energy that we create in that group setting. Oh, I can't wait. The last one, number seven, intention setting meditation. Each week, a new spiritual teaching will be revealed, briefly discussed, and a beautiful new intention will be set. I'm thinking of that one on Mondays and maybe Sunday evenings in a longer class. Again, all of these are just 45 minutes, so we'll see how it goes. A meditation will be offered in the intention setting meditation to help deepen our understanding of the teaching and help us integrate the teaching into our everyday lives. Because remember, any of this type of meditation, it doesn't do any good if you don't take it to Costco with you or on vacation with you or whatever you're doing in your everyday life. Tell someone that you love them today. Look in the mirror and tell yourself how awesome you are. There will be homework in some of these classes. I'm excited about it. So tell me which one of these seven meditations draws your interest the most? I would love your feedback. I truly would. I'm Maria. Thank you so very much for being here. Keep coming back. Strong body, strong soul. You have both of them. I'm just here to remind you. And I feel so blessed, so privileged, and such a huge responsibility to share my voice and everything that I've learned in my lifetime, if I can help other people skip a few steps and get here, here in this moment, quicker than I'm here for you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I'm Maria. Namaste. I appreciate you so very much for watching. Don't forget to take that meditation onto the hiking trails with you. 
we are all so connected by so much beauty and wonder in the world. This is the Strong Body, Strong Soul show, hoping to elevate and enrich your life in some way. Please make sure to comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure to turn on those notifications so you see future episodes. The Strong Body, Strong Soul podcast can be found for free on most audio platforms. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. Please don't forget to comment. I really would love to hear which meditation resonated with you the most. Thanks so much and keep coming back.